Welcome back inside the Now Morning Show. Now, earlier on, we would have said farewell to Tobago Jazz experience, at least temporarily. And we're now getting ready to say hello to Tobago Jazz and Music Weekend. This morning, I have with me directors from Black Two Sugars joining me, one via Zoom, Kerry Roach, and also joining me in studio, Mr. John Gill. Good morning, gentlemen. Welcome, welcome. Good morning. <coughs> morning, Good morning, Rokas. Morning, morning. morning Trinidad and Tobago. I'm, I'm fantastic. Kerry, you with us as well. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. I'm good. Very, very good. Um, glad to be here. Glad to be on your show. And glad to um, see you again. After All right. Now, Kerry, I, I want to start with you. I want to start with you yeah. via Zoom. Um, tell me, when the, the news was announced that Tobago Jazz Experience is not happening this year, did it have any impact on what you were already planning for your jazz weekend? Uh, yes or no. Um, we got the, the hints that it's not going to happen um, last year. All right, so we started um, planning. Um, one way, let me just say off the bat, we were going one way or the other with our fringe event, which is the, the jam, Jazz on the Beach, which we had last year, but now we call it Beachfront Jazz. Mm -hmm. So we really and truly, um, it came out a bit late for us, but we, yes, we decided that we were going and we will go nevertheless. The, the problem or the challenge for us is, will people leave Trinidad, um, some of the other islands who we, we have coming with us, for people from diaspora who's coming down from the, the US and so on, to come for a one event activity or one event weekend? And I think not. Um, even though we are a fringe event, what we had to then um, set about doing is creating the experience for persons coming in for the weekend um, through John's help. And, and I have to say, John was the, the guy who literally spearheaded some of the, um, the, the discussions and negotiations. We, we are off to a, a very good start. And I think we have a program um, in place that will attract people to the island, um, bring them on, on island, and to have fun. And that's what we, we want also. And uh, according to what I was hearing from Mr. Arnold, there are a number of spin-off benefits. I mean, people come and stay in hotels, cars, rental of cars, um, food, which is a big part of it um, on island. So yes, it's benefits all around. Challenges, because you don't have the main stage, as he put it. Um, but we will make do. We will make do. Yeah. All right, well, let me jump to John as the man who had all the, all the negotiations <laughs> to do. <laughs> so, John, we have a, a full weekend of mm -hmm. activities now, yeah. kicking off from Thursday, the 25th, uh, with Jazz, the two of us. Yes. And then we go all the way to Sunday with Brunch on the Greens. Yeah. Uh, as one of the directors, as mm -hmm. the man putting together this program, when you saw that void and right. you said, all right, let's fill that void with more events. You and the team said, all right, we're going to yeah. fill that void. Um, tell, me, tell me, what was the thought process that went into each of these events and what, what can we look forward to? All right, so as Kerry said, we were already planning our jazz event the on the Saturday. Jazz, right. Right, Beachfront Jazz. Um, and then we thought, listen, would people come for just one event? Maybe not, as Kerry said. So we decided to reach out to other um, other entities mm. and invite them to be part of a weekend. Right. So we reached out first to Fairways um, Restaurant and Lounge, mm -hmm. and Stacia said, "All right, she is on board." She created a brunch, mm -hmm. brunch on, which is on the Sunday. Right. Um, it's a food which inclusive. Which is a food inclusive. Yeah. Right. Three hundred dollars. Um, we then reached out to Sin Romana Villa. Um, to do a kind of a meet and greet event, a cooler poolside lime. Mm -hmm. um, that's a hundred dollars, and then that one is when that is on Friday. That's on Friday. That's right. coming. That's coming. Right, right. And then uh, Marilyn Hunt reached out to us when she saw what we was doing and said, "Listen, I'm doing an event on the Thursday. Mm -hmm. Would you mind if I were to, you know, become part of the weekend?" We right. said, "No, no problem." Right, so. She's on Thursday with Jazz, the two of us. Mm -hmm. It's an all-inclusive jazz event, $700 entrance. So we have now a weekend of activity. And it's a kind of template I feel we could go forward with. Rather than just one entity trying to do everything, yeah. we share the spoils. Were, were there any difficulties in collaboration so far? No, none at all. 
everybody everybody is doing their own event right and um we just marketing it as a weekend nice uh, so I want to Kerry. Let me let me bring you back into the conversation regarding oh. the actual music, the jazz that's happening this weekend. Who are some of the artists that we can look forward to uh, performing that weekend? Well, with the first things we did for Beachfront is say let's go back to the basics. Um, Tobago and the beach event has always, and I think the, our main artist has put his stamp on that sand there. That's a two tapping. So we, we, um, every person within the committee said, yeah, 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 let's go back, um, let's go with him. And since last year, we said, we going with Arturo Tapping. So Tapping, and then we said, let's look at the other staple, not only in Trinidad, but also for the beach event, um, which is, is Bonnet and uh, Ilan Pale. They are a staple in, in Trinidad and Tobago. I mean, you, you can't have a jazz event without even uh, mentioning the VB. So yes, based on those two, and then we started looking at, let's see how we can bring in some more Tobago and local artists. And um, Kai, uh, I would say John was the man who, who recommended Kai, and we, we got her on board um, very early also. So we are grateful for that. So those are our three main artists so far, because we have more artists coming on. We have more wow. artists coming on from uh, the other fringe events for hours. Yeah. Um, so you should hear some more of that during the next coming days. All right. John, when it comes mm -hmm. to, to the artists that you guys have on the cast, I, I realize that, yes, you have Caribbean artists, um, Tobagoian artists, mm -hmm. Trinidad, Trinidad artists. Uh, how important is it to encapsulate the Caribbean and the actual jazz in these events? I think it's very important. Um, and especially as we are homed in Tobago, I think it's also important to, to have Tobago artists. Last year on Jazz on the Beach, we had about three of them mm -hmm. from the island. And we want to maintain that, to have Tobago represented. Mm -hmm. So Tobago is represented on the, the um, on As a Saturday at the beach front jazz. jazz on the Saturday. And also on Sunday at the brunch, at the brunch we have Kay Allen, mm -hmm. another Tobago dance. So we, we kind of maintain that. And yeah. I think it's very important. And to bring in a Caribbean flavor, we will also maintain that. Yeah. In terms of going international, <laughs> we creep in before we walk. I understand there's a change in venue from last year, though. Yes. There's a change in venue. There's now at um, Starfish, mm -hmm. which is formerly Turtle Beach. Um, and there's another change. When um, jazz events started, I think probably jazz artists on the greens were, was responsible that the template was a cooler mm -hmm. lime kind of vibe. We have decided to change that template a little bit ah. to push, to change the paradigm as it were. Okay. So our event is no coolers. It's a drinks inclusive, premium drinks inclusive event. Okay. Right? So we're so, no longer bringing all the, the cooler and no, lime in on the beach. Nah. We now come in. You're coming, your hands swinging, right. probably with your chairs. We'll have chairs rented as well. Mm -hmm. And come another time. We will supply anything you want to drink. <laughs> and yeah, very interesting Sunday program. Uh, brunch on, on the greens. Yes, brunch on. Br sorry, brunch on the greens. The greens. You created a word. Is, is, yes. is it meant to be a mix of brunch and luncheon? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be actually, I'll give it you. It was supposed to be brunch in. Ah. Right? And then we discovered that there was another brunch in that happened in Carnival. Okay. So we decided we can't go with brunch in, so we went with brunch on. With brunch on. <laughs> and it's happening on Sunday, 28th of April, and that wraps up the weekend. And we're getting ready to wrap up this conversation this morning. So let me say thank you very much uh, to Kerry, who joined us on Zoom, uh, one of the directors of Black Two Sugars. Thank you so much, Kerry. And of course, we're looking thank forward. Thank you very much for having me. No problem. We're looking forward to Jazz and Music Weekend kicking off April 25th to 28th. And of course, we're looking forward, specifically, I'm looking forward to the Beachfront Jazz. I can't tell a lie. I'm looking forward to could that I, one. Could I just say one more Quickly. thing? Quickly. All right. For people who don't know who Black to Sugars are, we are a, a, a promotional um, outfit 
that we did jazz mm -hmm. on the beach. Mm -hmm. We did we do stuff for carnival. So we're expanding our portfolio as it were. And rightfully so, especially at this time when the Tobago needs some jazz and music. So we're gonna give you some jazz and music on the 25th to the 28th of April. You do not want to miss it. Ladies and gentlemen, go out there, make a difference today now because together we aspire, together we achieve. And if you're inside of there, we perspire and work hard, we can get the things that we need in this life. Thank you so much, Mr. John Gill, for Thank joining you very us. Much. We are going to wrap up the show this morning with a performance from one of the artists who will be at Beachfront Jazz on Saturday. Uh, well, in that jazz beat, in that jazz and music weekend, she's performing with Elon Parley. Her name is Vaughnette Bigfoot. Take care. Love it in the morning, rain falling. I can feel our two hearts beating us.